Alright. I got the uh, 1930. You know, I had a few boats set up this year, but I say, man, for me, this one's the sweetest shooting one I had. A few arrows here from 70, and uh, just a, a distance I like to practice from. Um, but you know, everybody's gonna fit everybody different. But uh, me, I really like this. Really like. It. The factor's 30 last year, and uh, I actually got rid of it. Um, well, I got a got a Matthews chill on. And I shot that bow pretty good. I like that bow. Um, back then when the orange come out, um, there wasn't any draw stops on them. Now you can get them with the rock mods. But um, it was a little jumpy and not a very good back wall. So I shot it accurate, but didn't really like the feel of it. So uh, um, Well, see, I had the factor in it at the time. And I told dude over there, I said, I'll trade both of them. Uh, you know, used for a new carbon spider turbo. And that, you know, I had, you know, that Z5 cam, um, that last year's turbo, it was an awesome boat, man. I liked it a lot. The only thing, I would actually probably, maybe even still have one if I got a factory turbo. Um, that was the first actual carbon bow I'd try it out. Um, for its carbon bows. But uh, they made that turbo model. I said, man, I'm gonna give that thing a run. So uh, got the, uh, the carbon spider turbo, and it was an awesome bow. Um, Nothing bad to say about them. The only thing on it is uh, it was a little light, you know, for for my taste. Uh, I like the boat to be a little heavier. Just helps me steady it up, you know. Um, it was hard for me to get enough weight on that boat, but um, you know, even though like like this boat. 3.9 pounds and that carbon spider turbo um, I think 3.8 pounds but uh, is what they're listed but I think I think there's a little more difference than that because you'll notice when you hold those carbon bows uh, even though they're just you know 0.1 pound lighter they're supposed to be um, they don't hold target quite as well. You can tell when you hold them. One thing awesome about the bow was, you know, I hunted, I killed a few deer with it, was, um, you know, they aren't cold to the touch. Um, but that's not that big a deal. I mean, you know, I've hunted with 11 of every bow I've had, except for that one. So, uh, yeah, it ain't really no big deal to me. Um, and, you know, I got the, wanted to go a little heavier. And when this nitrum line come out, but I'd already told myself this year, I said, you know, I shoot that bow good, the carbon bow, and I said, I'll just keep shooting it for this year, see what they come out with next year. 
So they come out with the uh, this nitrogen turbo, and I knew I wanted to go back to aluminum just because, like I said, the carbon's just a little bit. It's just a little bit light for me. Awesome bow, just for me, just a little light. But uh, so yeah, um, I got the nitrogen turbo, and I think it's a good bow. I think it's the only thing I think about is that is that new turbo cam you know last year's was a z5 cam just with the six inch brace and it, it really as far as draw and holding it on target and shooting it it wasn't i didn't notice any difference in it and the others but uh the new turbo cam is way different um you know when i shoot i, I try to hold real tight on the back wall um, a lot of extra tight, you know, I, I, I kind of try to find the point to where I'm mixed with uh, relaxing and holding, you know, you don't want to be too relaxed when you shoot, I um, mean, you don't want to pull too tight against the draw stops, but you kind of just want to find that, that point in the middle, um, but for me, that turbo bow, you know, if you would relax a little, or I felt like if there was an animal you wanted to wait on a while, um, with that cam being more aggressive and the, and the bow has a very short valley, that, uh, you know, it, let's get up here and look at these animals. But, uh, I felt that, uh, You know, any bit of, you know, if you want to, it's it's not actually called creep. A lot of people call it creep when the string creeps forward, but string creep is actually the stretching of the string. But um, what I felt like is if you just got a little too relaxed with that cam, it just wanted to go on you, and it wouldn't let you sit there and, um, you know, execute a shot. Um, it, it just, the Z5 cam just felt better to me. Um, it's just that plain and simple. Um, so, end up with this bow. And, uh, uh let's see here. That thing's just out. There's a um, group from 70. Uh, you know, sometimes we can get them a little tighter than that, but to me, that ain't bad, man. 70 yards. Um, you know, got my hunting rig out here. Um, you know, we like to get them a little tighter, but uh, I'll take that, you know. Ain't much complaints. So, uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. And, uh. Been shooting these. Let's see if you can see it. Axis. Let me get that camera. The Axis. Um, 340s. 100 grain field point. Um, got a six inch wrap on there, blazer veins, I always shoot blazer veins, I don't think you can really beat them, um, but uh, weighing in it right at four and a quarter, 425 grains, and uh, flying real good for me, but uh, yeah that's the bow here, um, a uh, nitrum 30 um, using the uh, HHA the new king pin sight there you go the king pin um had this sight shoo 
July, I'd like to say three months now, maybe. Uh, not sure exactly, but not one complaint about it, man. It's an awesome site. Um, seems to work good for me. And I know everything HHA makes is just quality products. Little on the high side, but uh, uh, shoots really good. Um, using the fuse. Uh, hell, I can't even get it right there to fuse. It's just the uh, QAD HDX Ultra Vest. Oh, seems to be working good. You got the 10 inch carbon blade with the 3 ounce weight stack. Like, uh, comes on 11 and a half inches. Just, uh, it's a little bit lighter bow. That kind of helps me steady it up in longer distances. Oh. Um, but, uh, just shooting the stock Hoyt strings on it right now. And, uh, they seem to be flying good. I don't, don't think I'm going to change the whole lot on it. Um. I like my bows, you know, either solid black or camo and black. Uh, I don't care much for the bright colors they're doing on them nowadays, the color kits. Got a bunch of grown men out here shooting pink bows and shit. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, if it's your thing, it ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. It just ain't mine. But, uh, yeah, man, um, so far this, this year, I gotta say, um, this is probably the one I'm gonna stick with and, uh, hit the woods with coming up next season, cause, uh, uh, you know, it's just a 30 inch bow, and that right there wasn't my best group from 70 yards, but, uh, as you can tell, it, um, you know, it, it, it's still it holds good at long range um no problem with that with the 30 inches once i got the weight right and got accustomed to it um shoots as good for long distance really as anything else to me longer or whatever so uh yeah man there it is the nitrum 30 um and i think i'm a I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot this thing a few more times. A nice day out here today. Hey. And don't, don't forget to holler at me if you need a little landscaping. Um, home, landscaping, home repair. Man's got to make a living. Buy these bows. They, they getting expensive. <laughs> Oh man, but we love to shoot them. Uh, yeah. Uh, be easy.